What? I have never heard this before. So they're saying the only reason the United States never adopted the metric system is because the ship carrying the standardized weights was hijacked by pirates in the 1790s. All right, so I'm going to start off with, if you don't really follow me for my Tesla turbine stuff, this video is not for you. It's going to be off way off topic, so just move along. But anyone else want to stay here and figure this stuff out, this is going to be a video for you. So let's just go on. This is my boy, Mini Minuteman. All right, so I did a little digging. I don't know if I'd call it true, but I would definitely at least call it a gross oversimplification. Let me break it down for you. Since England had spent the last couple hundred years not being able to keep it in her pants, much of the world used the British imperial system. Okay, so far so good. We know the British Empire didn't do the greatest stuff. In 1795, the French decided to go and invent the metric system like a bunch of goddamn communists. Yeah, the French did claim to do that. I'm, I, I recall that. Thomas Jefferson, the acting Secretary of State at the time, heard about the metric system and was like, yo, I want to pitch that to Congress. So he called up his buddy Joseph Dombey in France and was like, bring me the metric system. So Dombey grabbed some metric weights, hopped on a ship, got blown off course by a storm, and then was captured by pirates and died in captivity. Oh, sorry, I don't mean pirates. I mean British privateers. Changing the unit of measurement wasn't up to Thomas Jefferson. And in all likelihood, even if he had got these weights, he probably wouldn't have been able to change Congress's mind. I wouldn't say pirates are the reason we don't have the metric system, but god damn it, they sure helped. Now riddle me this. If the French invented the metric system, then why is the middle of Bemidji Lake to the middle of New Orleans exactly two million meters? on the dot. Let's clarify some things. In 1682, the French claimed, stole, the territory that is known as the Louisiana Territory in the honor of King Louis. All right, Lake Bemidji in northern Minnesota in the United States, located less than 50 miles downstream of the source of the Mississippi River. It both receives and is drained by the Mississippi and is the northernmost point on the river. While it is not the end point, it is still the northernmost point on the Mississippi River. The first residents of the Bemidji area in recorded history were Native Americans 10,000 years ago, then the Dakota settled there in the 1600s, then the Ojibwe in the 1700s. So, so what though? The, the French just happened to steal both the indigenous American nation cities that had been previously settled for thousands of years that just so happened to be perfectly on the dot, two million meters apart. And then a hundred years later, the French just happened to invent the metric system. Then the entire continent of peoples who went through a genocide and ethnocide of their history and languages rinsed away through kidnapping and forcing their children into boarding schools, forced to speak English and use a completely made up British king system, imperial, that was only invented in 1824. Yeah, total coincidence. God forbid you measure the distance from Bemidji Lake to Flint, Michigan. Or how about Bemidji Lake to San Diego? Let's do Bemidji to Vancouver. How does that one sit? Let's do Bemidji Lake to St. Louis. Or how about to Denver? How about to Pittsburgh? Some of these aren't perfect numbers, but they are weirdly too close to perfect numbers, right? How's Bemidji Lake to Chicago? No, these, these, there's no, no possible way that the, the indigenous peoples of this land had a metric system, had this, had this metric system, it's not possible. Even though all the major cities of our country that sit on this land, that sit on top of their cities, all our highways run on top of their old lands and all their ancient trails, they all just happened to line up to this metric system that was invented in 1790. But these cities and these, these, these habitations of the indigenous people of America go back 10,000 years but no, no, no. And there, there's, there's no possible way they had any, there's no possible way they made the metric system. Not possible they made the metric system because it's not possible they made the metric system. Here's an answer. It's because if we actually had the metric system, we'd see all our major American cities that used to be indigenous First Nations people's cities for thousands of years line up to a unit system that wasn't supposed to be invented until 1790s by some French dudes who just so happened to steal the very land that we're talking about from those exact peoples. Hmm, what a conundrum. Now, let's try Bemidji Lake to Polar Bear Provincial Park Beach Tip. What? Why? Huh? But they didn't know meters. Meters came from the French. Yep, the meter came from the French. Yep, yep. Bemidji Lake to Mackinac. Let's... What? What? what what's going on, guys, there? Amid, Bemidji Lake to Gull Island, the most eastern tip of Isle Royale, where the most, some of the most dense copper mines in the continent are that are missing hundreds of thousands of tons of copper that were mined somehow before every European settler was here. 